Hello guys, welcome back to another LS Video 5 tutorial. Sorry for that. Today we're going to be seeing how to. Let me just turn this up real quick. Yeah, today we're going to be seeing how to fix this error right here. The current game version is not supported for LS Video 5 GTA 5 modding. If you're a modder or use plugins or whatever, you will come across this. And if this is the first time you're coming across this, then let me help you with that. So as you guys saw, I just opened GTA 5 through Epic Games. I'm playing on Epic Games. I just launched the Rage plugin hook here, and this came up. So this is pretty much, this shows you the installed game version, and I'll give you a hack how to check this without this video the next time. Even though if you need this video, save it right now, give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe because I keep coming out uh, with new videos for your GTA 5 needs. So um, the easiest way to check your game uh, version is you go to this file, you go to your GTA 5 main directory, which should be pretty easy to uh, reach. For me, I've pinned it here, as you can see. Uh, you want to go to this play gta5.exe, you want to go to properties, you want to go to details. So the game file is version 1.0.55. So this is uh, the play GTA file. The actual information is going to be in this gta5.exe. You're going to go to details, and you can see here the product version, the current product version is 1.0.2802. As it says, our game version is 2802, and uh, the new version is um, the newer one. So, um, as we just updated our GTA 5, we do need a new version for this game. So this, this Rage plugin hook only supports 2699, it does not support the 2802, which is the newest update. So I'm going to open my browser, and I'm going to leave these two links in the description down below. First um, is pretty basic, I'm going to go to lcpdfi.com, which I have as a shortcut over here. And the second thing you want to do is you want to go to script hook 5 which we also have here. It's the AB software development one. I'll also be sure to link this down in the description. So as we have this, we know that there's a update uh, on the LSPDF, SPDFR or LTPDFR.com. We know that there's this update, which we don't have currently. So you're gonna have to download this one. I'm gonna show you how to know if this is the current, uh, current LSPDFR version or not. So as you can see, this one came out December 18th, 2022, and ever since, I have not updated my game. That's how you know that I have not downloaded the LSPDFR first response report one four point nine. So I'm going to go ahead and click download, and I'm going to click on agree and download. I personally like uh, this one, the automatic version of downloading it. So I'm going to click download. You can do it the manual way. It just takes a bit longer. There we go. So you want to download it somewhere you know how to get, get it. I'm sorry for that. So you want to download it somewhere you know how to reach it, right? So I'm going to get it on my desktop. I just want to name it to LSPDFR just in case I may have a duplicate. While that is downloading, the second thing you want to do is you want to go to script hook 5. So as you can see, the uh, the supported game version is now 2802 the game version you were looking for and this is going to say removed game version 26 uh or something something they used to say it here before they don't anymore however it's fine they also released it on 18th of december 2022 which is the same day we uh they came out with the update for lsbd4 so we're going to click download again get it somewhere you know how to reach it I think I also have a duplicate for this, so I'm going to press to, yeah. That is all you need to get before updating your game and fixing this issue. I'm going to claim, uh, you want to close all of these, whatever's open here. You don't want all of that. So as this is what I was talking about, I would have been confused between this and this. So I'm going to click this one. Let's get the LSPDFR file sorted first. So, as soon as you click this, this, this little pop-up is going to appear. And you just want to keep on clicking next. You don't want to play with anything, fidget with anything. As soon as that's done, it's going to tell you to finish. And then this thing pops up. You want to click next. You want to click on show license. It's going to show you a couple of things. 
you have to agree to this. So the good part about downloading LSPDFR from lcpdfr.com is that it gives you Rage plugin hook with it. So you don't have to download it separately. So I click agree. And this is going to say change settings. We recommend disabling the version text rendering and setting all plugins to load at startup. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do it for me. I'm going to press on do it for me. And you get a pop-up that says LSPDFR has been installed successfully. That's great. So now we're done with this file. I can delete the older file now. Now we're looking at this file, right? The script hook file. This is a very important file. Bef without um, the script hook, you essentially cannot run um, the plugins that the game requires. So again, I want to go to my GDFI main directory and all you have to do cannot be simpler than this. Drag and drop this, not on any folder, on the side of your GDFI main directory. It's going to ask you to replace these files. You want to do that. Another good tip, just in case, even if after you've done all this, although this should be sufficient 99% of, of the times, however, for that 1%, you may run into errors. It's a good practice to always also install uh, Rage Native UI update. So I'll also link this in the description below. It's a good habit to always also update this, although your game may function without it also but as we can see they do have a new update on december 20th and uh, that's after they came out with the lspdfr version so you just want to go here you want to click on the first link and it's a github file so you're going to get it on the on your desktop or wherever you know how to reach it you want to open this file again same thing same practice same thing you want to copy all this you want to take it to your main directory and you want to drop it on the side again it's going to ask you to replace all of this all done now unless there's any other adjustment required by your game or your modding menu you should be good to go your game may fail uh, or your mods may not plug in but that should be it for gta5 and updating gta5 to fix that error the error message that we were fixing right now will not be there anymore and I promise you that. However, if your game does lag, does not open, that is due to some other issue that I have also been facing. I'll tell you really quickly how to fix that issue. All you want to do, you want to um, type this into your browser. Limit adjuster GDA5. So you want to get this and download this. I'll show you how to put it in your uh, GDA5 directory as well. You just want to click download, download. Again, just know how to reach it. Save. So now, although our game is now updated and the text box that was there in the in the beginning is now going to be gone. If again, 1%, if your game is still not opening, if your mods are still not loading, this is just another good practice or hack so these are these last two are just optional uh your game should load up uh all fine but just in case it doesn't it's always a good practice to have this so you don't want the readme tech txt file you just want to click this uh select all three and then shift one second and then control unselect this one go to the gd5 main directory drag and drop always on the side not on top of a folder Replace files in the destination, and we are done. Your game should not crash anymore. There's nothing else I could think of why your game may crash, unless you have additional plugins um, that, uh, for example, a modding menu that.